Aging Traveler. Welcome, 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 everybody, to another episode of Born to be Wild, a Hearthstone podcast, a wild exclusive Hearthstone podcast on the Information Superhighway, where we like to showcase different members of the wild community, and that's what we intend to do today. But I am joined, as I always have been, but never will be again, by Nate Wolf. How the hell are you, Nate? <laughs> I'm a little sad, I'm not going to lie, but <laughs> I'm doing I'm doing well, thanks. It's... Uh... It's a dreary Saturday morning in Portland, Oregon, but uh, I like it. I like this weather, and I'm excited. I'm happy to be here um, to uh, spend time with you, and we have a very special guest today. So, Dr. Evil, welcome to the show. It's been a long time. Hello, Nate. Good morning. Yeah, yeah I know. It's been a while. I think... So, no. Well, we had you on Into the Wild, like, I don't know. Yeah, Gosh, it's been I don't a... remember how long ago that was. I feel like it's been forever. Over two years. I was ago. gonna say about two years or something, right? That's a long time. Wow. And yeah. we had you in the Into the Wild League. How'd that go? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I know. That's, that's a, why. A little I'm bit of a touchy subject. Yeah. <laughs> two years later, but it's cool. Sorry. It's cool. I deserve to win that game. I'll let you know. You did. I and deserve you... that W. <laughs> it's okay. That season, you went undefeated, right? In the season, I did. I didn't. I didn't lose a match that whole entire season, and then we got down to the like the semifinals or whatever. So whoever won that, like... whoever won that, was going to get matched up against Get Me Out for like the final finals. And if I had won that yeah. game, I would have played against Get Me Out, and that would have been super freaking cool to have been able to play against him and possibly have too. But you took that dream away from me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. He Taylor cheated, by like the way. The, uh... <laughs> he cheated. Do you? You don't even remember <laughs> how you won that, do you? Remember one of the games I won with Naga Giants, and one of the games I won with Banana. Banana. Yes, lot. Banana. <laughs> I think it was the Banana. One. So you won that game by two health, right? And do you want to know how you got that two extra health? <laughs> I want. Okay, know. let me tell you. <laughs> You maelstrom portaled uh, that zero one imp that like buffs uh, minions health by one at the end of the turn. You know what card I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, the, the warlock you card. Mean, uh, stealth. <laughs> yeah, that guy. Anyway, okay, so you summoned him with maelstrom portal, and then you portaled again, and you got Eternium Rover, the one three where you attack into it and you gain two armor. Okay, so yeah. you want to know what happened after that? <laughs> your imp, I gained a bunch of armor. <laughs> your imp buffed the Eternium Rover by one health. Okay, so my Lightning Storm didn't kill it because it was a 1 4 now. And because it didn't kill it, gained the two armor and I lost by two damage. <laughs> and that's how I lost the semi. Oh my god, like it was yesterday. <laughs> Still. <laughs> that's what I call Hearthstone. <laughs> Trick is to, <laughs> is to play Maelstrom Portal. Like you can ask Appa about this. Play Ma- Maelstrom Portal enough, and it starts to kind of know what you want. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> what I mean, but uh, oh, that was that was insane. You were like the New England Patriots that one year, where you won every <laughs> single game of the season. Made it to the well. I guess you didn't make it to the Super Bowl, but you made it to the playoffs <laughs> and then just got crushed by the unlikely adversary. Oh my god! Yeah, like, do you know how like <laughs> the percentage of that? Like, I think no other two one drops from Mail Portal could have saved you that no, game, and then not. you high roll both of those together, and it was just perfect. Great. <laughs> Oh, good. Oh, man. Like so that's why me and Taylor, me and Taylor are to this day arch arch rivals. It's fun because <laughs> during the season we played against each other and you crushed me. You gave me a weapon. But well, then during the playoffs, I got back at you. So then I guess in a couple of years, we'll play in another league together. <laughs> and then you can have your chance to get revenge. I'll get my victory. Victory back. Yeah. But you're, this is was, your last, this is your last podcast, but you're not going to be stopping Hearthstone, huh? Uh, we'll see. Like, maybe for now I am. Like, right That's now so I'm... Uh, it's just right now I'm ranked, f- like, fifth. 
I, I'm I'm ranked five platinum. Bronze. I think. <laughs> or, no, not bronze. Right. I think platinum, and uh, mm-hmm. I'm just not interested at all. I tried to open the the story mode this morning, that new mode. I got bored immediately. I'm just. I, I, there's a couple things. It's one life just got really busy out of nowhere. Two, uh, I'm in a relationship where I'm not putting. It's funny because I, I know that you, this isn't about Appa, where it's about you. Appa being your other, your <laughs> your, your your boyfriend or fiance. Husband. Fiance, yeah, yeah. And um, I listened to him on Coin Concede, and he was basically saying like all the stuff that I've been thinking about me and uh, oh, no, my life. It happens fault. you're leaving <laughs> <laughs> not his fault but, um definitely he kind of gave me a nudge because i'm like oh he's so right like i'm i'm uh, my girl yeah, yeah. my girlfriend works all the time and i i hadn't been working and i still hadn't been making enough time for her, and i said okay i need to get out of this before i get started back up at work and get, getting all crazy and stuff and then next thing you know i quit and then yesterday i got back i got called back to work and just been a crazy couple, a couple crazy times, and then on top of that, Hearthstone's just really. I've really lost interest in the game recently, and I'm hoping that with the new sets and stuff, it'll maybe draw me back in. But like, I don't even have it on my phone anymore right now. Oh, yeah. There wasn't, Whoa. Uh, there wasn't enough room for apps yeah. and stuff, and I was like, what? What do I want What's to go on? <laughs> It was the moment that I was like, uh, Candy Crush is, is is pretty fun for me right now. I'm going to get rid of her stone. Oh like, oh. <laughs> still, you know what's fun? Right you now. should start playing um, Animal Cross. Anyways. Oh, that's <laughs> dangerous. My, <laughs> my wife and my son play, and it is super addicting. And they both have tried to get me into it a little bit, and I'm afraid to because I know that I'm just going to sink 40 hours a week into it and never sleep again. <laughs> Get your job, become a lawyer. Quit my job. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, that's basically <laughs> the extent of it. So this will be my last show, and I'm happy to have you on for it, Taylor. Because uh, again, yeah. my arch route, but like we're arch enemies the way that Gary and Ash were arch enemies. Yeah, I don't hate you, Craig. I hope you know that. <laughs> no, I I was pretty sure you didn't. Great. Most of the time, but um, yeah, we're Kaiba and Yugi. We're, we're we, you know we we hate each other and we love each other. It works out perfectly. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, no, thank you. I'm glad we sad. could do this together. Yeah. Okay. Enough yeah. sad. Enough sad stuff because Nate's gonna cry over there, little baby over there. I might. Um, <laughs> don't tempt me. Don't. <laughs> I don't know. We, we should probably move on to what we're here for, and uh, I guess we have to talk to to you a little more, Taylor, because all we've done is is kind of talk about our our match. Uh, but you've been a pretty consistent legend player recently, eh? Yeah, oh, for a while um, now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I usually hit it. I think every month, about just about um, the months that I don't hit it, it's because I'm bored with the game. But yeah, know, that makes sense. <laughs> I mean, one deck that I climbed with a ton that you built was your, uh, I don't know if you built it, but like that you teched was the putting the Vargoth in the regular quest mage. Yeah, I thought, I don't know. People <laughs> kind of gave me some crap about that. Um, I think people get mad when it's just, <laughs> Vargoth just in a the couple deck. of cards. Right? Yeah. I'll tell just you a what. Couple of cards people give shit. I, for me personally, so number one, thank you because I was struggling with that deck. I, I watched um, Zeddy has a YouTube video with kind of how to play it, and I watched that, and that helped a bit. But I think what really helped is I'm sitting there trying to learn it, and I, I we were chatting back and forth, and you spectated for God, it was like at least an hour, yeah. and and got a bunch of good tips on, hey, this is what your turn one should look like. This is what your turn two should look like. Hey, you know, and it was just really great advice and i appreciate it i took that deck to rank one and then switched over and ended up hitting legend with with reno priest but i that's the, what i used for the entire climb um so i really appreciate your help on that and i think the addition of uh, vargoth in that deck that i loved it because there was some unwinnable matchups otherwise at the time yeah. there were a lot of people playing druid and mm-hmm. like there isn't right now um there were a lot of people playing priest and so if you know, somebody's at full health, or especially the druid matches. Um, yeah, because all the druids had to do was just like keep armoring up, and then you were just like they are they would be out of reach yeah. for you to kill. Yeah. But surprise, if you had Vargoth, you would have won that game. Yep. No one ever expected it, especially in the beginning. Like yeah, that they, first, didn't, that they didn't play week. around it. 
Yeah, that first week that you kind of... I don't care what anyone said. You popularized that. I never, I didn't see it anywhere before you put it in. Uh, I think it was Brent's Discord that you posted it in, and mm-hmm. uh, yeah, and no one saw it coming. I got some BN. Like th- those were some of the best uh, cancer ads I got. Like, <laughs> yeah, where- I forgot <laughs> about that. You're an idiot for putting that in your deck. I'm like, yeah, but you lost. <laughs> yeah, right? I was the idiot. You didn't win. Yeah, they go, you're an idiot for putting it in. No, Taylor is. She's the one who told me to. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, you can blame me, whatever. I hit legend. Exactly. So. <laughs> anyway, yeah. what do you think? Fun. Since we're on the topic, what do you think about the nerf? I mean, have you played it since? I know you've been doing other other decks, so. But you, yeah, do you think that the uh, oh, pushing the, it up to eight uh, was enough? Oh, oh, the quest. I'm, I'm yeah, it sorry. Um, I don't think that really did anything, honestly, because you have evocation now. So it's still like you can still complete that quest super early. If you yeah. Sorcerer's Apprentice and then evocation and then just because Mage has so many cheap spells, I feel like that they get from that evocation card. So, I mean, it slows it down a little bit, but I mean, I yeah, know. I don't know. I, I don't think the nerf did much. I loved like this this month. I, I hit legend with pirate warrior, and I don't usually play aggro, but um, was seeing a bunch real early in the month, seeing a bunch of super greedy decks, and I loved seeing quest mage because um, they do nothing for the first five turns, and then they're dead by turn five or six. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> It's funny in the games where they don't draw evocation, the nerf feels like enough, you know, or yeah. if they get a really bad. That's evocation. true. Or if you um, like skulking guys did, and then they kind of have a hard time completing the quest. Sometimes. I know that's true. I hate skulking guys to the card. Can I tell you? I that? love that card. <laughs> I saw something that you posted the other day that showed the Geist in like I don't know at least thirty. Uh, yeah, it was like Jade Idols. <laughs> Yeah, we were. It was like about to be over if I didn't top deck Skulking Geist, because um, he was just gonna f- uh, flood his board with like a bit a bunch of uh, jades. So I had to draw Skulking Geist that exact turn, or I would have lost. And I top decked it, and then I just burnt like I don't even know how many jade idols it was, probably like fifteen or so. And then he was just out of stuff. Oh yeah, the last time that Taylor and I queued into each other on ladder on our climb to legend a month or two ago. Uh, I was playing a Jade Druid that was like all in Jades. Like I was playing Jade Jade Golem and stuff like Jade Behemoth, and Taylor was playing like a Mill Druid. But I I thought for sure you were playing a Mill. <laughs> I thought you were playing a Mill Mill Druid that relied on on, on Jade Blossom to win and and all that. And then, nope, there comes the skulking guy on like turn thirty. <laughs> I said, well, that was a waste of time. <laughs> we lied. I, I kind of forgot about that. Yeah, I was so bored. I was just like, I'm just going to, like, you know, mess around. So the Mill Druid deck, like, I was actually surprised. I was actually, like, winning games with it. Because I feel like, Uh, well, people just didn't know what the hell is going on. So that kind of helped. It's cool, too, because the deck, like, it's definitely not, like, a tier one deck. But it has disruption. In some decks, like, you can sometimes, like, overflow their hand. And they make them overdraw and stuff like that. And... It's pretty cool. Like the, the deck was really interesting. Like, of course, I was playing Jade Druid, so I literally stood zero <laughs> chance against you. But it was uh, it was a really cool deck, and I, I I think I got the list off you after that and played a few games and did absolutely horrible with it. <laughs> That's the but... thing. It's like <laughs> somebody said, told me the exact same thing the other day. They're like, "Oh, I've been playing your Reno Dragon Azoth Druid deck, and I've been losing terribly with it." So. I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. Um, my decks probably suck, but they're memes, and I have fun playing them. And so I think, I don't know. It might be a well, bad you... deck, but if you play it enough, you can sometimes make it good. <laughs> hey, you hit Legend with it. It can't be that bad. I What I, I like... I mean, I mean no, it's not that bad, but it's just super good. So it's just, like, kind of dumb. But, I've seen you, know, you I have fun playing it. <laughs> I've seen you in the past hit with other... Like Reno, Shutterwalk, Shaman, and that that sort of thing as well. Um, yeah. And I part of the thing about playing number one, like a, a some kind of homebrew deck, but number two is playing something that um, is off meta that you know and other people don't know is that people don't know how to play against it. They don't know what's in it, and then you play some weird card, and they get all confused, and it totally 
it'll it'll mess up their <laughs> game plan. So yeah, that's partially why I like playing my own decks because people don't know what's in it because they can't just type it in Google and look up the list. So I kind of feel like it gives me a little advantage. It definitely does. It's kind of like why I play Maelstrom Portal in my shamans because I can oh get those the, tur the turnier rovers and the imps. Just rubbing salt on the wound. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry. It's just so fun. It's been two years. Get over it. Anyway. Two but years yeah, anyway. and it feels like it was yesterday. So I know we got a little bit, uh, maybe we got a little bit ahead of yourselves, but for anybody that's listening that doesn't, isn't familiar with you, you mind maybe giving us just a little intro? <clears throat> yeah. Um, well, my name is Taylor Eve. I also go by Dr. Evil um, on Hearthstone, um, but I've been playing Hearthstone since 2015 2016 i don't okay, know yep. a really a really long time <laughs> um and i play mostly wild except for when i get frustrated with wild i'll switch to stand <laughs> for a little bit but um i'm kind of i guess known around our wild community online i play i like to play stupid fun decks like i don't i like Appa, he's my fiance. He does the Coin Concede podcast. Um, if you didn't know that, but he always gets mad at me because, well, doesn't get mad, but I like to play these stupid decks, uh, meme decks, and then I get frustrated with myself when I can't rank up with them. And he's like, "Why don't you play a good deck, Taylor?" And I'm like, "I don't want to play a good <laughs> deck. I don't want to just copy and paste some good deck online and play it because it just doesn't." feel satisfying for me you know i don't know i get kind of like a sense of fulfillment <laughs> whenever i use my own silly decks and can hit legend with it because i don't know i play so much hearthstone it gets kind of old whenever you're playing against the same stuff literally all the time over and over yeah and i kind of just want people to see that you know you can make your own decks and you can make them fun and you can make them good and you can still hit legend with them so that we're not all just playing against the same things over and over. Like, I'm not a competitive player. I like to hit legend, but I don't consider myself competitive or anything. Just play for fun. And I just want other people to have fun. And we all have fun together. <laughs> hey! Yeah! <Yay>. yeah. <laughs> That's what I've, you know, in the past... It, well, I don't know. I mean, I've hit legend way back when, before the rank floors and stuff. We did a long time ago, and then not for like god almost two years or something but now that the the these new ladder changes have hit like i've been hitting pretty early every month and um, yeah you have i noticed that i'm like dang i'll jam out a bunch of games during week one and then i hit legend and then i just want to meme out the rest of the month and play goofy decks but it's like tanked my rank so hard like I, oh yeah <laughs> i'm or i won't play for a week and like i'll come in at like 300 legend not play for a week open up hearthstone and it's i'm at 1000 legend like whoa okay <laughs> yeah you decay super fast and like um i was playing last night and even when i won a game i would lose a rank like, <laughs> isn't that i'm at the point now i was playing yesterday i believe it was and if i win one i gain like 20 points if i mm -hmm. lose one i lose like 60 points yeah that's it's how it is now so it's kind of dumb but <laughs> I, There's just so many people hitting legend now. I want that. I want those eleven stars, but like, I don't want to grind. Like, I'm I'm fine taking a tier one deck to legend, but then I want to have fun. So, I don't know. Yeah. Well, you can come hang out in the dumpster legend with me. Yeah, that's well, that's where I'm at I'm, right now. <laughs> I am ranked one thousand seven hundred and fifty right now in legend. <laughs> Hey, so qu quick question for you. Uh, I, I'm just curious how, like, I, I know this is a little off topic, but um, the COVID thing has been going around. Like, Craig just went back to work. I've been at it, but we've been closed to the public. Like, how in the world do you do dentistry work when people have to wear masks? Like, how, do you just have to have them take it off? Or what is that? <laughs> I, I don't even <laughs> yeah okay so also for people that don't know me i go by dr evil because eve is my middle name and i'm also a general dentist i'm a dentist um so i just kind of like combined those together but anyway 
Um, yeah, we started back work. We were only shut down for like a month. Okay. We started back work a, a while ago now. But um Yeah, it sucks. We have to wear a lot of like protective equipment and I'm sweating all day and it's exhausting. Uh, but yeah, we just make all of our patients they have to have a mask on the whole time and, until we are like in the chair with them and have to like do work. But, yeah. It sucks cuz I feel like I might get it, but <laughs> do they give you like, you have, like a, a face shield or something? Yeah, we have all that face uh, shields. Well, that's and... good at least. Yeah. So. Here, most most people have to get uh, tested for COVID before going to. I think you just cut Wait, out a little. You bit. cut out. Sorry, what did you say? Oh, sorry. I said up here, at least in my city, uh, before you go to see a doctor or a dentist, you need to go get a COVID test. Oh wow! For a long yeah. time here, they weren't even giving the tests. Like for months, they didn't have them. They didn't have them. Me. Like COVID, like only the rich basketball players and actors had yeah. COVID tests. Joe Rogan. <laughs> now everyone has it. <laughs> My girlfriend went to a Black Lives Matters uh, meeting, yeah, or rally yesterday, and now she has to go get tested for COVID before she can go to work. Come on. Oh man. That's the yeah, COVID. yeah. I yeah, I feel you. Subscribe to a podcast if you hate COVID. <laughs> oh my get some God. subscribers. Okay. We get lots now. the The other thing I wanted to ask you about, like you and Apple, are kind of. I at least I know you guys for your pugs. Oh my God, pugs everywhere, right? But you you've got the couple that you named after the Hearthstone characters. Yeah, um, I have four pugs and. We got one of them is a black pug, and we named her Aya Blackpaw because isn't that adorable? That is, that is, the, <laughs> yeah, it and, is. And then he had puppies with my other male pug, so they had a little baby together, and we ended up keeping him. He's the fourth pug, and he lost his eye during birth. Well, he didn't lose it during birth, but um, you know when dogs have babies and they come out in like the little sacks. Mm-hmm. Santa. Um, <laughs> I get I don't okay I don't know anyway they come out in little sacks and the mom has to like scratch the sack open to get the puppy out so oh, no. whenever whenever Aya went to scratch it open she scratched his name is Patches now but she scratched <laughs> him in the eye and it made like a scar so he could never shut his eyelid oh poor so guy. his eye just stayed dry and like ulcerated all the time we tried like doing um, eye drops and stuff like that every day, but nothing was working. And so the vet was like, we just need to take out his eye. So we took out his oh. eye and he's got like a big scar on his head, but we named him Patches. It's rough. Because, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like a little pirate now with only one eye. <laughs> so that's um, the story of Patches and Aya. That's awesome. T-born, uh, T-born pre or post nerf. Oh my gosh. He was born post nerf, so he does not have charge. Oh, good. You guys weren't like <laughs> upset when he got nerfed. That's good. Yeah, I feel no, like Blizzard would better. have to give you. Blizzard would have had to give you a lot of dust for that one. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, and I guess the pug ugly, like pug ugly. I see him in all the discords. Uh, is he one of your pugs or? <laughs> I don't know. I think I've asked him this before. How is your name, Pug? Are like pugs are ugly. I don't. Know. Are ugly. I don't remember what he said. Those are, ugly. are not ugly. Oh, they are. They're cute, but they're ugly. I love the bug eyes. They're so cute. They're yeah. <laughs> Thank Taylor's you, probably Nate. So, Taylor almost hung up. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Have a have a good rest of the podcast. Hang up. <laughs> Wiser words have never Couldn't been. Spoken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, right, moving like, along. Okay. Moving right along. Yeah, let's get off. All right, all right, all right. So, hey, uh, just um, let's see, let, let's see what we got today. I got our. We get these monthly emails from YouTube, but I I was all excited because we got we got forty new subscribers last month. That's super cool. So I'm just hey. I'm just that's that's us. That's me patting ourselves on the back. But thank you guys. All just if you're listening to this, as opposed to watching all of our stuff ends up on YouTube with uh, graphics and gameplay and all that other stuff. So if you get around to it, please check it out. Uh, it's youtube.com slash born to be wild podcast. 
So um, the other thing that I I posted it on Twitter earlier, but like I I was playing again. I, I was um, hit Legend real early this month and switched over to meme decks a little bit, and I was playing this list that I got on Twitter. Um, it's an odd shaman. I think like odd shaman. What right? But you can choose your own totems and um, the way that this deck works primarily is you choose the spell, the spell damage um, totems and you zap your opponent in the face for lots and lots of damage. So I played this guy, he was playing a, I think he was, I'm in dumpster, right? So he was like rank eight, nine, 10 diamond. Um, and I'm in dumpster legend and I, he was playing Reno dragon priest on turn five or turn six. I hit him in the face for 10 damage lethal. And then he sends me this, um, this, this ad. And I tell him GG and he goes on to go do this whole like racist diatribe. And I was like mortified. I, um, I mean, it's been a week now, but like I, I was, I don't, normally get um like i like salty ads they're entertaining you know tell me that you hope that i die or that you hate my mom or whatever like okay okay um and i usually like to screen capture them and post them on twitter and haha but like this was like oh my god um so i don't know use the n-word a few times a little home a little bit of homophobia mixed in there too um I don't did Blizzard ever like say anything about this name? I no, they that. never they never responded to me and I was surprised and I and what was interesting is that Blizzard, you know, I, a lot of the companies um over the past couple of weeks have kind of come out in support of Black Lives Matter and they've talked about what they're doing internally as far as, as, far as policies go and and Every donations of that every company suddenly realized like oh wait was this racist aunt jemima's racist <laughs> oh my god let's fix it <laughs> um yeah yeah anyways so they posted something um the company of or the president of blizzard yesterday posted something um as far as what they're doing internally and they had said that they had banned 30,000 people or something like that and i was like cool can you ban one more because <laughs> she made that <laughs> 30,001, please. <laughs> Anyways, I, actually. I, I, it was just mortified. Like, why, what, I, what goes on in your brain to make you react like this? I don't know. Okay, Nate, like, yeah, what that, that was pretty messed up. Like, the, sometimes I have to remind myself when we're playing Hearthstone that I'm not trying to be mean, but like, a lot of these people are kids. They're like, some of them are like 15, 16. Like, um, I just feel like not very, I don't know, matured yet. So there, that's what I tell myself whenever stuff like that happens. There is something yeah. satisfying about, we were talking right before we went live. Um, you were in a game and the guy was BMing the whole time, right? Like there's something yeah. so satisfying about winning a game where the person is either roping every turn or BMing or every BM. turn. Yeah. <laughs> um, After every play. You give them a perfect. BM. My opponent yeah, would emote, oops, whoops, whoops. Like, <laughs> I guess every card I play is a mistake. I don't know why he's saying oops all the time, but yeah, I ended did, up winning um, in fatigue. You, so. Did you hit them with an oops when you beat them? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, see, that's, that's the thing. I don't like really ever, I don't, I don't BM. I don't do that. Um, but if my opponent is sitting there BMing and emoting literally the entire game, once I know that I have this game locked up, then I'll start bming back <laughs> yeah and maybe that's mean that. i don't know but that's what i do <laughs> it is evil. it's a little mean but you're allowed to be a little mean. but don't be if like don't be mean to me i won't be mean to you how about that what it, you know exactly. what it is it's the uh you know if, what is it it's like uh eminem eminem says right you, you you can dish it out but you can't take it like yeah, exactly. and, then they'll, and then they'll stop bming once they realize they're losing just like yes take that <laughs> but yeah anyway. anyways all right so what do we got anyways. this week what do we got this week uh this so we have the patch with the new solo gameplay but this this kind of slid in under the radar there's new avatars i don't really i don't really use them all that much but it's in the battle.net client um where they've got their chat and their 
game launcher and all that stuff. So they added a bunch of uh, avatars. Um, I don't know. Whoop, whoop de doo I guess. Uh, <laughs> yes. But but they're cool. Indeed. You, uh, yeah. A bunch of demon hunter stuff in... Anyways, uh, so what else we got? New, um, so the new solo content launched. Have you guys played it yet? I know you haven't, Craig. <laughs> no, I haven't. I don't really do a lot of the solo stuff. I usually just literally just play wild uh, ladder most of the time. I still have never even played a game of Battlegrounds. So, but <laughs> not one. I don't even know how Battlegrounds works, to be honest. It's uh, wow. it's really fun. <laughs> it's it's um, it's kind of random, and. Uh, the way it that things attack, but... intimidating. Not that so. random. I'm a I'm a very casual battlegrounds player. I s- usually stick right around five thousand. Like I'm not a competitive player. I lose much more. I either hit like seventh place, eighth place, or like number one, and <laughs> usually not too far in between. So I don't know. I, last night I, know I was you probably heard this hundred times, but I think that you should battleground. Oh my gosh! I know. Um, Jeff always tries to get me to try something new, and I'm stubborn, I guess. <laughs> I don't blame you. It's hard <laughs> to teach. Uh, well, you're not really old, so it's hard to I'm teach not new old. <laughs> <laughs> I feel old, but I'm not. How many? How many it's years hard of to school? Teach a young pug. Hey, there you go. How many years of school does it take to be a dentist? Um, to do what I do, just being a general dentist, is eight years. That's what it was four for. for college and four for school. But then if you like want to specialize and do like braces or oral surgery, it can go from like another two to six years. And by the time you're done school, it's almost time to retire. Exactly. <laughs> that's why I don't. Uh, Ridiculous. Yeah. Well, that's what law school. I am what I am. <laughs> that's what law school was for me. It was co- yeah. college plus four more. And now my hair is all turning gray. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're really old, Nate. Well, how old are you, Nate? Thirty-eight. Really? Yep. I never knew that. Couldn't tell. <laughs> no. <laughs> Today I learned. Awesome. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nate. <laughs> I always tell. I always joke about how old Nate is. You know what, Craig? You're off the show. <laughs> Just you're for that. <laughs> We're banning you. <laughs> oh God! You can tell a couple of young, a young, couple of young kids on this show, and then you got dad over here. <laughs> dad, <laughs> somebody has to, somebody has to keep everybody in line. Come on, uh, that's true. Almost as old as Kibler. Someone said in the chat, "You young whippersnappers." <laughs> Kibler posted a, a picture the other day of of him with like his COVID hair, and it's all long now, and he's got this gray stripe in the front, and his beard's turning gray. And I posted. Oh he looks great. I posted a picture of Uther under it. It says, um, it goes, uh, "Uther gets it, and he liked it right away." It was so funny. <laughs> he totally reminded me of Uther. It was great. Uh, anyways, so the new solo content is is out. I played the first two chapters. Um, I did it on stream, like a rare stream. I don't do very much, but I, I played it and um, a couple people hung out and it was kind of fun. But the, the first chapter was, um, I don't know, like I wasn't even paying attention. I just sailed through it. And then I had to start actually trying in the second chapter because it got a little bit harder. Um, they The thing that was super distracting to me is that they're trying to tell like a pretty in-depth, like this is this is like fake lore, but it's like wow lore a little bit. And everything rhymes all the time. Like Illidan rhymes the entire time, but he sounds all grouchy, angry, yelly while he's trying to rhyme. And it's just so weird. (laughs) So I don't know. Um, (laughs) I was, I was a little bit sad because I was hoping for new cards and I know we're not getting any new cards, but last time when um, Galakron's Awakening came out and we got the solo adventure and we unlocked new cards, they were like some of the greatest cards. At least they were great for Quest Mage. But uh, So I was hoping for that, but that's okay. Um, anyhow, we have new hero. So um, Arana Starseeker is a new skin for the Demon Hunter, which is cool. I know... Um, some of the some of the folks were saying, "Oh, great! Now Demon Hunter is brand new, and it's got as many skins as Rogue does." But, <laughs> but uh, there's that. Uh, you have to do something to make people want to play that class. <laughs> uh, 
Because from what I, I don't play a lot of standard, but from what I heard, like, I mean, standard Demon Hunter is very bad now because of the Twin Slice nerf. It, I don't that know. True? I, I did not hear that. The, that's, the, what, um, that's what Jeff was telling me, but I don't know. I don't know if Appa says it, then I have to believe him. I don't play that's standard, so I don't, or I do my daily quests in standard sometimes, but. There is a list I was looking at last night. I'm I'm tempted to jump into a little standard, and it's playing uh, a blade flurry esque or uh, dancing blades. I think it does damage equal to your hero's attack to the three random enemies. Yeah. Like that looks pretty cool with the new twin slice. Could be at least for us and wild uh, slices. Like I guess we're gonna segue into that in a minute, but yeah, pretty much slice, we're, we're fine with it, right? pretty much going to segue into it like right now but anyways so, uh, well good thing you, you re uh, reiterated that <laughs> just clicking the slideshow <laughs> uh, i'm sorry you're spicy this morning <laughs> <laughs> uh hey one thing before um before we move on so there's the bundle right now that is good for another three weeks i believe um it's the uh or maybe it's two weeks the Arana star seeker bundle it's 20 bucks you get the new hero you get the um, card back in 20 packs and even if you don't want the skin 20 packs for 20 bucks is a good deal so um i recommend it and that being said i i reached out to blizzard and asked if we could have a code to give away and they did not respond but i'm gonna give one away <laughs> I'm sorry, Nate. I'm just... <laughs> I mean, I'm not surprised. But... I, you know what though? Like, I see all these people all the time. They get all this free swag, and and I just it makes me a I little, think a little bit sad. But... <laughs> that's fine. Uh, I'm okay with that. I guess. Um. Uh, oh uh, so so we will shell out twenty dollars of our own money. Uh, do a giveaway next week on the show. Um. But I would prefer to give it away to a, like a listener of the show and not some rando for that retweeted on Twitter. So in order to um, get an entry for this bundle, what you got to do is either DM us, DM the show, either on Twitter or email us or in Discord. Um, and I'll add you. I'll add you to the list. So for an extra entry, send me a picture of your toes. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to get Nate some awful, awful messages. Oh, just... <laughs> just kidding, I, guys. You know, you send... <laughs> that's how you get your entry <laughs> deleted. I'm sorry. Nate's yeah, inbox is it's... about to be full of feet. <laughs> oh my god! I think that's fair. Don't, don't, send, don't send that. <laughs> this was a joke. Please don't. Oh god. Okay. DM the show on Twitter at Born to Be Wild HS. Email the show. At born to be wild hs at gmail.com send us a dm on discord i'll add you to the list we'll do a drawing next week um and feet pics <laughs> i'm just kidding and feet it's like i'm never having you on this show again <laughs> this was a mistake <laughs> oh god i love it all right all right okay so uh the the change, the change to uh, Twin Slice, trying to uh, not call it a nerf, right? Because it's a reworking. It is definitely different. I got the graphic from Imic, by the way, um, who put in the work on this. It's much better than uh, what, what Blizzard had sent out. So I appreciate us uh, or you letting us use your artwork for this. Um, and I think this is actually a buff to Odd Demon Hunter in Wild. Um, definitely. It's pretty. Yeah, it's I pretty think, awesome. Yeah. I, I wasn't using the card before, in not in standard, not in wild. Um, I mean, I think if you're playing Demon Hunter in wild, like you have to play odd Demon Hunter because it's better than regular Demon Hunter, right? So and in standard, it was an auto include, right? Like mm -hmm. majority of the time. So I think it's good that it's not an auto include now. Mm -hmm. in standard it probably still is pretty close to an auto include standard but in wild i can't imagine making a odd demon hunter deck without without the new twin slice you so know, it's very good 
Yeah, so and it went from being a zero mana, give your hero plus one attack, add a second slice that does the same, to now being a one mana, give your hero plus two attack, uh, times two. And so um, I saw <laughs> MTG Squirrel <laughs> post this, like, laughs in Baku, which is great because you can... Um, you can do some crazy, crazy damage with this now. So if your hero power, one mana deal two damage, um, you can you can go pretty nuts if you've got both of these in hand. So I was goofing yeah. around with it, and here, check this out. Uh, 13 damage from hand was, was pretty cool. So some talk about like reach, um, it's pretty awesome. I had the other day in my THL match, I... Uh for eight out of nowhere like he probably thought he had the game and all i had in my hand was a second slice and a twin slice and we crushed <laughs> we like to hear it yep all he had to do for this problem is play skulking <laughs> <laughs> it's true but... skulking, skulking guys got buffed oh yeah. Yeah, well, skulking couple... is good again <laughs> there's another interesting thing nate that i think you would like to i don't know if you thought about yet but uh do, 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 do. You like Dragon Spellkin, and now Dragon Spellkin gives a third spell in Demon Hunter. Heck yeah, I love Spellkin. They're all good. Spellkin yeah. is. I, I like Spellkin to begin with. So when um, last month I used Odd Demon Hunter to hit Legend, and uh, I kind of I was seeing the list go around, but I didn't like the pirate package, and so I kind of tweaked it a little bit and put some questionable card choices in there, but. Um, <laughs> One of the uh, cards that we were playing, Danny Danny Donuts um, clued us into Volpera Scoundrel. Who? What is it? The two mana two, or what is it? Three mana yeah. two three that gives you a a, yeah. a spell lets you choose a spell. So we were using that, um, and I started using Cobalt Scale Bane or whatever. People started playing that in their decks because Danny. Maybe. No, it wasn't. It wasn't just because of Danny. No. Okay, was, uh, I, <laughs> think I was wondering Danny... where that came from. I think that came from the China server, actually. Okay. I'm pretty sure. We we get a lot of a lot of uh, fun ideas from the um, China server. Oh yeah, they've got they play a lot more varied decks than we do. I think that's where but. that's where we discovered the new uh, Alcron Warrior with uh, with the Deathwing topping it off the eight mana Deathwing, and like that deck's been pretty good. And as far as I know, I me I didn't see anyone playing with it before uh, Danny uh, got it from the China server. And then slowly over the next few weeks, people started figuring it out. But Danny and Nate and I were already playing it in THL. I lost to it in THL well, it this felt week. pretty good. <laughs> yeah. It's been banned for me the last three weeks. I brought it every, each week, and it's always the one that they choose to ban. Wow. It's a very strong deck. I think... On the latter, it's not quite as good because you don't have the option to ban uh, the its worst matchups. Mm -hmm. but a tournament setting where you can where you can ban its worst matchup, you're really uh, you're really happy. Yeah. So so to get back on Spellkin a little bit, um, yes. what it does is when you play it, it gives you t uh, two one mana spells from your class, and so in Demon Hunter. Up to this point, there were only two cards. It was either the Mana Burn or... Consume uh, Magic. Consume Magic, So, which is a one mana um, silence and draw card. So, like, I was playing it because, hey, you want any of those. Like, I've, I have won games because I played a Spellkin, top decked two Mana Burns, and shut the person out the next turn. Um, and so now you get a second slice from it also. Like, that's that's awesome. So... It, I don't play Demon Hunter um, ever, but are people just putting that in their decks now? Uh, I think they're experimenting with it. I mean, like you were saying, I think yesterday, watch watch Cream Puff stream. Uh, that dude is is crazy good with, with Demon Hunter. And um, I mean, I, I don't think that the class is refined yet. And at, at least right now, the only viable... Um, version of it is uh like an odd odd demon hunter you know the the longer the game goes on like I, i've seen a couple of fringe like reno versions um 
But, but the, the question was, is, is Twin Slice going into the decks? People are experimenting. I think I'll try to have it ready for next week, but I've been trying to save screenshots of all the different variations of Odd Demon Hunter that I've been seeing over this, this is, week. This, this is what's going to happen, because this is what happens every time. Someone <laughs> famous in the WoW community is going to put Twin Slice in their deck and hit rank one legend with it. And then once that happens, everybody else will put it in the deck. We just have to wait for that person, whoever that is. Corbett hit yeah. rank two with it. <laughs> So it's already happened. <laughs> oh, yeah, everyone's gonna put it in their decks now. <laughs> it, all I um, did, well, all I did was take out a cons- <laughs> I think I took out a consume magic and a crystal sigil runner and two twin slices, and it felt great. Like, I don't, yeah, I don't love, like I don't love sigil runner as much anymore with the less attack. Mm. So I don't know, but I, I mean, I'll tell you what, this doing, doing, uh, where is it? There we go. Doing a ton of damage from out of nowhere. Um, I mean, if you, if you've got two twin slices in hand, what is that? Uh, plus eight attack, um, which is pretty crazy. And that's not including your hero power. So it just gives you tremendous amount of reach. So I like it. I like it combined with the weapon, the warglaves that let you attack multiple times. It's just nutty. So yeah, it always feels really bad when playing my druid deck and you play a bunch of spreading plagues and then they just draw that weapon mm-hmm. and then that weapon just kills all your your plagues in one turn. It's like, well, <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> that weapon is so good. Yeah, it's pretty great. Okay, so I'm pulling up. If you look up Corbett on Twitter, um, hit rank two legend with twin slice. And I still don't think that the deck is optimized yet. Uh, It's close. You know, some people were experimenting with the pirates. Some people have been using those freezy cards. And um, I don't know. I mean, it's close, but we're not quite there yet. I, I can't wait until there's a more mid rangey version. Cause that's, I don't, I don't love aggro. Um, I hit legend with aggro the last two months, but <laughs> I don't really enjoy playing it. Just uh, hit him in the <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a, uh, it's face o'clock somewhere, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, I agree. I don't like aggro either. I think it's boring in my opinion. I, I'm not good at either. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyways, so I'm trying to think what else is going on. The, I saw the. I think the only other news that we saw this week is that there's this um, Battlegrounds Brawl event coming up on Tuesday, uh, t- this Tuesday the 23rd. Um, and of course, normally it's not a Battlegrounds show, but I thought I'd bring it up for two reasons. Number one is that um, they've got these. They've got Twitch drops enabled, so if you watch for four hours, you can get two free packs. So if you want two free packs, uh, you can you can go watch. I think for me personally, I'd rather pay the two bucks than than spend four hours of my time. But <laughs> <laughs> um, but Just anyways, can leave it on your computer, you don't even have to be there. That's true. I tried it last time um, on mobile, and it didn't work for me, even though I was logged yeah, I in. Yeah, but... switch like on my desktop, and like I'll come back and have free stuff sometimes. I'm like, cool. Huh? Yeah, maybe I should try that. Um, but one of the things I know was, um, let's see, let me switch over to this graphic here. So all the folks playing is that out of 16 people, and I know it's an invitational, right? So there's no, um, there's no like qualifications, right? It's just a PR thing for Blizzard, but there's only one woman out of 16 people. And I think that that was quite, who is the woman, uh, Hafu. Oh, of course. <laughs> but like, there's yeah, surprised they didn't get this. One. Like, there is a couple others, even huge names that are. That's women in the like community, I right? could understand. I don't get it, we have a lot of great girls. Um, yeah, you got what well, Slizza. Slizza is really good, and Sun Glitters. Right? Um, Sun Glitters is Shraza. is really good. And there's so, so many. Like, I feel like there's a not so many, but there's several like good uh, female person content creators that they could have asked to go on but i would say hafu is probably the best she is like when it comes to battlegrounds especially she's gonna be one of the i would argue she's probably the best battlegrounds player just hafu is also one of the best arena players just 
straight up. That's true. So it makes sense that they'd have her, but like I can't see why you wouldn't have a couple more. Like at least give us three. How about three? Yeah. I know. I mean, I don't want to go like full on social justice warrior, but like it, it just it doesn't it doesn't sit well. I think I don't like it. It feels like a check check in a box a little bit. Well, Black okay. Guy, one woman. We if you it. if you look at the graphic, right? I mean, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but for, just from an optics point of view, you've got your if you're checking the boxes, right? You've got one woman and one black guy, and like that's just crappy. I'm sorry, that's not. I don't know. It doesn't sit well with me. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, um, I agree with you that they should probably try to diversify a little more, but because it's hard to. Uh, I don't know. I, I I don't know how to react to it. I there's some good um there's some good dialogue. There's there's some good dialogue going on on Twitter right now. I think if you um follow Cora at all, there's some good dialogue there. Um and, and I I don't have a good frame of reference, I guess. Like I'm a boring middle-aged white dude and <laughs> I barely play Battlegrounds. But like just from my niche perspective like and and again from someone who doesn't play battlegrounds like um sun glitters is one of the best battlegrounds players that i know um Salissa is one of the best battlegrounds players i know i mean there's there's a lot of really f- amazing players their, so like I, they the best like are they that good they're well, well taking I, it away one from of them, them but like well one of them had tw- they're, like they're in the i think one of them hit either eleven thousand or twelve thousand oh, yeah. uh, and they deserve to so be here so sure. yeah i mean it's uh i, I think so Absolutely. anyways i don't it just know it seems like some of them are uh, some of them are dumb like someone in the chat said like trump is a, a weird one to have on here i know that he's a giant audience but it's like you barely play and like you play a bunch of other games like let, let's let trump uh I feel like some of this has to be it. like there has to be some sort of like politics involved you think i don't know it's just weird i guess they probably feel like they owe trump a lot from back in the day like amaz as well like amaz is another weird one that you would you're like like we get these are guys from four years ago who were like super mm-hmm. invested in the game and yeah, they just like, they keep picking like the same people over and over to do everything. It's like we want to see some new personalities, please. Like, yeah. I mean, they're great, but I mean, there's also like a bunch of new people that play that are really good. I don't know. Yeah, give yep, them yep. a chance, please. Please never get rid of Kibler because I love Kibler. <laughs> I, what I would like to, for them to do is add a fifth team and call it like you know the Scrubs and have it be me and Craig and and like people with five thousand <laughs> MMR going up against. <laughs> that would be Old girls allowed. <laughs> to wait, Taylor, that could be your first your first Battlegrounds game. Two hundred thousand dollar tournament. Oh no! <laughs> oh god! What the worst part is, uh, like. Does Firebat and Crip and Trump need two hundred thousand dollars? Like they're already rich. Come I on, know. Give, give us a chance. I've got I would argue, debt to pay. Come on. I would argue that like Firebat and Crip and Kibler, like they and Dog too, they all play a ton of battlegrounds. So I understand rewarding them for it, but at the same time, so either make the field a little bigger, or you know, drop one or two of them. Like it's not great that you have to do that but like it is kind of something you should do right just to get a couple different uh i don't know anyway i i don't want to be the guy no, talking about it because i don't feel like i should be speaking well and much. i i agree i mean i i don't have a good perspective and i and i acknowledge that but just from the optics it, it looks kind of bad so anyways uh, I did want to congratulate new legend player. We've been doing this every week. As I see them, I probably have missed a whole bunch. But if you are playing wild and you hit wild legend for the first time, um, please uh, tweet us, tag us, or or whatever. So this week, um, Scott King, aka Cap Core Leader, uh, hit wild legend or first time legend in wild. So congratulations, dude. That's very cool. So. Um, looks like murlocs murloc paladin i can't i can't tell from the picture but i definitely see some murlocs there (laughs) anyways congrats very cool 
And so that kind of brings us to our deck of the week. Very excited to talk about. I saw you hit um, hit legend this month with your own homebrew deck, which is a Reno Dragon Nazoth Druid. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> that is correct. Yes. So I I here's the list that I pulled from your Twitter. I don't I doubt that it's changed. I mean, this is from a couple days ago, so hopefully it's. Um, so it this has got the dragon package it's got your unique one ofs which is what is it uh zephyrs reno and alex straza yes um oh and your elise yeah okay so it's pretty spicy okay, this is what i'm talking about like i like to play meme stuffs uh meme decks um so yes you have elise in here and you also have fluke so like at um the end of the game like after you played all of your death rattle minions you can play nazoth which will bring back all your death rattles and then when, after you played nazoth you can um play elise but you have to have floop in your right because the floop will turn into nazoth right and then right. Once, you play, once you play your elise the elise will copy the fluke, which is a Nazoth, so you'll get two Nazoths. Oh, so, gross. That's after, awesome. <laughs> so after you play your first Nazoth, you do that little thing, and then they have to deal with that board, which is pretty like a sticky board because you have um, the cartoons in there, so that comes back even if they clear like that first board. Mm -hmm. The cartoon will come back, and then the um, Scrapyard Colossus will come back. So it's like a sticky Nazoth, and then once they deal with that one, he gets to go Nazoth into another Nazoth, and they usually cannot beat <laughs> all of those minions. No, uh, that's great. So it's pretty cool. And then for added extra greed, we have <laughs> the Dragon Queen Alex Straza, and then there's also Yasira, but you have to be like kind of careful when you play the Yasira because it does uh, shuffle the portals into your deck, and mm -hmm. so it will turn off like all of your um, Reno cards. So oh, I didn't even to, think about that. Yeah. yeah, you have to be careful about that because there's some games I have to like tempo out the Asira just to like do something, but then like my Reno doesn't work or my Zephyrus won't work, so I'm like crap. <laughs> but well, sometimes right. you have to do it, but it's something you just have to like kind of. I mean, well, it's a little bit risky, I guess, because it'll it put random. Is. It'll put random dragons, and so they, they, my decks aren't good, but I like them. <laughs> I uh, I yes I I only played a couple games with this and I for the life of me could not buy a win with it either but I must be playing yeah, but, it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I need um the like, it kind of relies on like the floop um at least combo a little bit to like pull out wins. That's cool though. I mean, I I like the idea. We're playing some. I've been playing something similar in um in uh with um. Sorry, with Warlock, uh, the what is it? Expired Merchant. Uh, oh yeah. There's a there's a combo there with um, what is it? Expired Expired Merchant and Faceless Manipulator, and like you can get four copies of oh, the Cool Dan. Yeah, it's <laughs> awesome. It's awesome. So yeah, that's, I hate that. That's so greedy. Yeah, against that deck, this deck will not win. <laughs> but have they have they fixed the Nas Darmu bug yet? Uh, uh not that i'm aware of crazy to me that they haven't much about it if they did it'd probably be in a hot like a hot fix or whatever they call them um it, and there was it, maybe it was in this recent i didn't like look at the patch notes very carefully this last week so i'm not sure what's i'm sorry i don't what's wrong with this storm so when you play yasera do you play yasera oh, yeah, or, yeah, and you get the portals Okay. Uh, yeah. Turns like I know in, T in THL, you literally weren't allowed to put uh, Yasira in the deck. It wasn't Yasira. There was something. Uh, I think you weren't allowed to put Nas Ormu in your deck um, with Yasira. Something like I can't remember exactly what the rule, but they had to make a really weird rule saying you cannot intentionally put Nas Dormu in your deck. And if you put Ysera in there in your deck, it'll be case by case type of thing for uh it's so bizarre. Like if you have to make yeah. a rule like that, they need to like do something. <laughs> right. Uh, it was insane. It it just reminds me of the Shutterwalk problem all over again. Yeah. 
I didn't even I know about that until Jeff had told me about it. Now you know why you probably want a couple extra games that you shouldn't. Have. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> 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 okay, so what do you got in here as far as uh, death rattles go? There's a death, uh, death lord, uh, yeah, the death lord, sludge belcher, cartoot, and Sylvanas and scrapyard colossus. Okay, so it's not like super heavy, but like all these death rattles, I feel like are super good, and so that's why they're there. That's the only. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you should. Uh, well, maybe this is way too greedy. What's the taunt card? The taunt death rattle. The seven uh, seven. That's scrapyard colossus. Oh no, the one that that brings taunts back. It's death rattle. Oh, Hydronox. Oh. Hydronox. That's probably too greedy. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think I can too... for that one. There's another list that is floating around that I can. Um, that's a taunt druid that that runs hydra. Uh, it, it, I'm going to always call it like Hydralisk now after our buddy because I'm not, <laughs> yeah. not going to be able to remember the name I, anymore. So, so Hydronox. Hi, yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> it runs that and, and there's some ways to kill it. The, I mean, the hard part is you almost have to use Naturalize to kill your own thing because um, you don't want yeah. people to silence it's it. But <laughs> Naturalize is one of my favorite cards. Like, it is such a cool designed card, you know? Like, that used to be in standard, right? Um, did they Hall of Fame that? That's the problem. That really That's out. the problem is of being like a wild player. I don't know. I could play yeah, all I of them. Know. Like, right, right. we're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Know that when it wasn't standard, it was, I don't know if it was one of those cards that rotated out, or if they if they uh, if they gave it all oh, the Hall of Fame treatment. I don't know. I, li I like this deck. Overgrowth is is a, such a fun card. Like just to be like, all right, I'm gonna skip a few turns. You know, turn five and six. Nah, we don't need those. Let's go to turn seven. Yeah, I, I needed the mana ramp because it's so greedy. Kind of start getting your big boys out there as soon as you can. So it's a really cool deck. I like the poison seeds. Starfall is a good board clear. Yeah. Uh, Elise is always an interesting one for me because I always I never know when the right time is to play it. I mean, I'm glad to talk to you about it because typically my hand would be pretty full with this deck. Yeah, and, and that's so, why like it's so greedy. So even if you have like a small hand size, like it's not a bad thing because you will usually like need it to be small um, towards the end of the game so you can Elise, uh, Floop, and Nazoth and all that. So. Yeah, I like it because you could. I've used it um, over the past week. I played a few games with it, and I used it at least once to get an extra Reno Jackson. Yeah, you can do that too. Like it just depends on like who you're playing against. Like if it's like a greedy control deck, then you want to make sure you like copy the Nazoth times. Um, but like if it's aggro, then obviously that doesn't really matter. You can use it to copy your Reno or your Zephyrus or else it might save you. And a five five against aggro isn't the end of the world, right? Like you never feel too bad about having a five five on five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I guess if you you know, worst case scenario you have to play it for tempo. But Drew is so dumb. Uh, I almost asked I almost said like, Hey, why are we only running one ofs in this deck? And then I replied <laughs> <laughs> Because Zephyrus is a good card. <laughs> yeah, Zephyrus Reno. And I am so bad for forgetting about Elise. Like I just forget that that Druid has a Reno like class card. I know, and so does Paladin. So uh yes, Paladin's got Paladin's the Finley really too, cool. right? I I always forget about it. Um And with the Finley you can discover the uh the, the demon hunter. Demon hunter. Oh wow! <laughs> so strong. Yeah, it's not bad. I love Sludge Belcher. It's one of my like f old favorite cards. Is that from yeah, Max? I if you Sludge Belcher was in like everybody's deck back in the day. I know. It was just such a good taunt. Yeah, it was always uh, Pilot of Treader on turn four, Sludge Belcher on yeah. turn five. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> So tell me about tell me about skulking guys. Like it's obviously super good against druid. It's probably okay, good so against mage, yeah. right? I actually had taken skulking geist out, and then I put it back in because I was facing 
a lot of J Druid and the Line Cracker Druid and I think I think that was like the only reason why I put it back because like um, and I guess it's okay against Quest Mage too because like I was saying earlier you can um, guys that are evocation and mm -hmm. uh, the freeze card whatever that's called I forgot uh, Ray of Frost Ray of Frost you can get rid of that too and so it kind of makes it harder for them to complete their quest. Um, but yeah, I was playing a lot of against Jade Druid and the Line Cracker. So the guys, like you kill two of your cards if you play it before you play no. those. But it also, <laughs> I don't know. It's a greedy deck, so it's there and it'll help you win against, you know, obviously both of those Druid decks. Um, no, it's, it's actually going to help more than now too with against Demon Hunters where. Yeah, Imagine and now it's on a Geist the. Slice. The twin slice. I, I, I think that'll. I, I think that'll matter a little bit because, like, w against this deck, the demon hunter might be holding those. They're gonna want to get on the board as much as they can, so they might hold the twin slices back as like a big burst at the end of the game. At least that's my experience yeah. playing against control decks with the demon hunter deck a few times this week, and uh, it feels like uh, that's gonna help. Like you'll be just be like, oh, see that eight damage in your hand? It's gone now. We all yeah. laugh. A lot. Exactly. We hope he's BMing a little bit. And it feels good against Line Cracker because they can't gain any armor. No, yeah, no, I, I love it. It gets rid of, gets rid of the um, what's it? Is it Earthen Scales? Yep, Earthen Scales. Yeah. It's funny. I mean, what seems to happen sometimes is that you'll have some content creator uh, playing a deck. They post it on social media, and then it gains kind of some traction, and people will start playing it. So this past week, Zeddy was playing it in legend and climbed a bunch of ranks with with line yeah, cracker I'm pretty high up right now with that and so i'm not i'm not like i'm not surprised that you were seeing it if he's playing it playing it streaming it posting it um it's pretty nutty to get 2500 armor <laughs> but, uh, yeah <laughs> and when that deck first happened that's all i played for a while it was too fun <laughs> I still oh, wow. miss Starliner. That was my favorite combo deck of all time. Yeah. It was fun, but oh my god, it's like every game. Yeah, yeah. Body was on that deck. That's yeah. true. Wonder if Ancient Brewmaster will ever see play again. Four uh, mana, five, four. I, the one that bounces? Uh, I, the one that bounces your stuff back to your hand. I, I've seen people play it every once in a while. I guess I should probably go over this list real quick for people who are just listening to the podcast and not watching. I'll post the the, the deck code in the show notes, but um, for those of you listening, it's uh, one lesser Jasper Spellstone. Uh, these are all one of its Arena deck. So uh, Naturalize, Breath of Dreams, Dirty Rat, Zephyrs the Great, Death Lord, Ferocious Howl, Gluttonous Ooze, Wild Growth, Branching Paths, Flabidinous Floop, Overgrowth, Poison Seeds, Swipe, Twilight Guardian, Azure Drake, Elise the Enlightened, Sludge Belcher, Starfall, Emerald Explorer, Cartoot Defender, Reno Jackson, Skulking Geist, Spreading Plague, Sylvanas Windrunner, Malfurion the Pestilent, Dragon Queen, Alexstrasza, Ysera Unleashed, Nizoth the Corruptor, and Scrapyard Colossus. Yeah, at a whopping 15,660 dust. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not cheap. Tell Taylor has a good collection. I've this, been playing a long time. <laughs> this is good stuff. I I like it. Um, yeah, like I, like I said, if it's it's not like a deck that you might be able to climb with. I don't know. I was able to hit legend with it, uh, but I also played a lot of games with it. So I feel like I have a pretty good handle on. It. Uh, but yeah, how is how is Wild Growth working out for you? Like post um, nerf. Like um, well, I mean, obviously two mana is better, but it's still okay. Um, if anything, it like draws you a card once you're at two mana. That's true. So, that's nice. I wish they would Hall of Fame it, put it back to two mana. Right. Uh, I would like feel, that too. It doesn't feel too degenerate for wild. It doesn't feel playable like enough. Like an Arena deck, yeah, I can, I can see, I can see why you'd play it. But like you wouldn't play wild growth if if you were into Reno deck, right? Like it, it's just annoying that that we we have to pay for standard not being powerful enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't care about wild, so this no. is what happens. 
Okay, tells so tells me every time I hear ridiculous hat say that. He always say says what? like uh he always says like uh well the Hearthstone team told us three years after Wild existed that they don't care about Wild. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, it hurt. and he says it every time I go, I know Hat, but shut up. Yeah, that's why <laughs> the Twin Slice got the buff in Wild, because they're trying to fix standard. They're like, we don't give a shit about Wild. Here, fun, we'll that's the sad better. truth right there. Um, <laughs> all right, what else did I want to ask you about? So when do you play, when do you play Dirty Rat in this deck? You wait um, until you because there's not a ton of removal options. Do you wait until you've got a board, or how do you? It kind of just like I said, it just depends on your matchup. Like I have it in there for like uh, combo decks, mm -hmm. Mechathune and stuff. So like if it's Mechathune, then obviously I'll wait till the very end, try yeah. to pull out, pull it out, and kill it, um, or I think what. <laughs> I don't know. I think I might just have it in there for the Mechathune. I'm so irresponsible with Dirty Rat. <laughs> <laughs> I have to like throw it out there and YOLO and hope you hit something good. Yeah. yeah, that's what I normally do. Like if I have no other play on turn two and I'm playing against like aggro you know, like, or like whatever, yeah. it's too taunt, it'll be fine. <laughs> Exactly, but against aggro, it can be so bad because most yeah. aggro decks are running Baku or Gen. Yeah, that's pretty much what. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's it's not bad though in um, against priest as well. If you can, if you can hit spawn of shadows or or Raza or Reno or one of those. Um, yeah, with Raza, you only have the chance to hit it on turn two, three, or four. <laughs> turn five, they're they never gonna. It. They're already yeah, they've play. already played it. Yeah. Yeah. But still, it's still good, and Death Lord especially like can be pretty good against uh, against priest too, right? I guess because if they don't draw the Raza. I, I don't think I've ever dirty ratted or death lord or Raza. It's my dream. <laughs> if you try hard enough, Craig, I think you can do it. I won't. I don't even have it on my phone now. Hey, Craig, <laughs> Craig, what does Astral Flame always say? You just got to believe, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Motivational Monday. <laughs> oh, God. Love it. So I, the only other card that I normally see in a Reno deck that I don't see here is Bran, but it's I guess it's hard to find room for it, right? I mean, yeah, the deck's already greedy enough. Like you don't you don't have to have Bran; it'll be fine. Well, yeah, and, and frankly, too much. when when I played this, my hand was pretty full most of the time, and so maybe you don't have room for it. Like I don't want two cards back from Emerald Explorer or. Elise yeah. or draw two from Azure Drake. Like it'd be I'd, yeah, I'd end I up overdrawing. So But Brain is a good card, just not in this not in this well, deck. <laughs> well this deck you're only getting like four things that synergize with it and like the only one that you really care about would be like Zeph. Maybe Dirty Rat, so I don't know. I wouldn't bother with Bran. By the way, I in this week's THL match, uh I Bran Dirty Ratted and that was a big mistake. <laughs> What did you pull? I don't. He was. I don't, that I don't remember anymore. I'd have to. I lost zero to three though. So if yeah. that tells you anything, it was like the did two worst possible. Three? I did. I so that we got to the playoffs, but with the, probably the worst final week of any team. Okay, this <laughs> is what I made the mistake of, like not changing my decks up for three weeks in a row, and I've been running all Reno decks, and I've won the last two weeks, like. And last week I won three and zero with them, and I was like, I kind of like these. I'm going to keep them. And it was good Reno decks: Reno Warlock, Reno Priest, Reno Mage, and then Duin's Reno Hunter. And so they're not like I mean they're a little bit memey, but they're pretty good. But the problem with using them three weeks in a row is that in THL people can see what you played the previous weeks, and I was just being lazy, and my opponent hard teched against Reno. And so every deck, it was like, hey, let me toss some bombs into your deck. Oh, let me shuffle some seagulls into your deck. And it's just <laughs> like, I got screwed every match. Um, so uh, big props to my opponent, Adam. That was uh, uh, good on you, bad on me. <laughs> yeah, should have changed your decks. That well, sucks. <laughs> it's my fault. I started off, I started off 4-0 and this season. I was like the only undefeated player in our conference. And I said... I'm going to tailor Eve this league. 
I'm going to win every game in the season and then go down in the playoffs. <laughs> That's my plan. And then I went, now I'm four and four. Oh. Hope you lose to some crazy RNG. And so you know how I feel. I still think you were um, robbed, Taylor. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Those are so mean. <laughs> <laughs> banana lock, dude. you? <laughs> I've been this is a shitty way to lose. There has been a surprisingly light amount of smack talk, less than I expected. <laughs> Trying yeah. to keep it like PG thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get canceled on my last show. <laughs> you really mean things? <laughs> I'm gonna have Just to. Too. I'm gonna never. have to uh, drag you out of retirement from time to time, as long as as long as you can still play nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, no, but anyway, sorry. I just uh, like this deck. It's fun. It, One, yeah, it looks I, super I, I, fun. I, I and I might boot up Hearthstone to try it. Oh, sweet. We can. So typically, we've been playing some co-op games after the show each week. Um, we'll record them and toss them up on YouTube. So if you're listening to the show and you want to see the deck in action. Um, Taylor has kindly agreed to play some games with us after the show. Uh, it should be up on YouTube in a couple couple few days. Um, just kind of a fun way for us to to try the deck and see it in action and see how it goes. Because um, it's one thing to talk about it, but it's a little bit different to talk through some plays and see how it goes. And uh, it's a couple few days. Besides, um, Hearth Hearth Coach is is no longer around. It we're starting to absorb all the other podcasts slowly but surely, right? <laughs> we're gaining their power. <laughs> um you swear like tier five. Have me and you like into the wild did. <clears throat> Playing gameplay like Earth Coach. We're getting there. We're getting there. Top deck, top deck kings don't really have much of a what top deck no we're cute we're both cute like green puff hey there we go (laughs) feel like you guys aren't cute oh my god it's old and craig's huge (laughs) (laughs) i'm just uh no comment um (laughs) no comment Oh God! All right, all right. Well, maybe we uh, we should probably start wrapping it up. I am sad to say goodbye, goodbye. to you, Peter Craig. <laughs> I've been I've been avoiding it, but oh, it's just the thing is, Nate is that every legend has to die one day. You know, <laughs> not me. It's me today. Uh, I'm sorry. You're gonna go out, go out in true legend status and and. And say something uh, really terrible on the show. That we'll, uh... <laughs> Never mind. Trump 20. Oh God! Please just stop. Just stop. Stop. <laughs> I was joking. I didn't mean it. <laughs> I guess. Um. I guess I just I. Uh, no, let's. I don't know. Should I say goodbye now and then do plugs after or what? I don't know. Um. I don't know. I, I want to say goodbye. I'm not hosting until next week, so you you do do what you want. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess I just I'm just gonna say bye because I I'm not enjoying Hearthstone right now, and um, it by any means it's just I'm not having a ton of fun with it, and life life is super important right now. Uh, Tiana might be going, that's my girlfriend, the love of my life. She might be going back to Thunder Bay soon because of uh, this whole COVID thing really screwed us over with her schooling and she got kicked out of the hospital because of COVID and blah, 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 blah. And it's just everything's all crazy over here. And I feel like I need to be there for her 100%. And this is just too much time in my week every week. It's a good solid five hours, six hours a week when you include the the parody songs and all that and i'm trying to kind of keep my life together and i'm trying to do so much and unfortunately a fun little show side project isn't enough for me uh to to give up all that time so i hope that uh 
Nate Wolf, you keep the show running and keep doing a flawless job. Like you've done so much since the show launched again, like doing this live with the Twitch chat and the YouTube and we got XR to retweet <laughs> one of our songs and That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Yeah. That was uh, definitely but, a highlight. I, I couldn't believe we hit uh, that was a great song. I really liked it. Like it was funny, and it also had a nice little rhyme to it. I just yeah, like you, it. Up, <laughs> that was turns out you take Eminem songs and can make anything. You can make anything good with them, but um, it's hard yeah, to remake Eminem see. songs. All right, all right. It is. It is really hard. I can't. Pr- uh, yeah, I can't make any promises about the parody songs. We can try. We can try. Uh, trying to get some helpers to to maybe keep the dream alive for as long as we can do it. Uh, but like you said, I it, don't think. I don't think it needs to be every week either, right? Like, you no, know, it's ideal that we had one every week. Like that's what we were going for. But it is a ton of work. Like people underestimate it. I think how hard it is to pick. A, first of all, find the inspiration for what song you're gonna do kind of figure it out and then hope that you can find an instrumental for it out there somewhere whether you have to pay for it or download it or edit it yourself a bit and like and then figure it out and get the levels right and then get it up and it's it takes a ton of work nate can vouch for that because he's done a few himself and it's when inspiration hits like it's it's not bad and and that's why i mean it's worked for me is that I don't plan on doing one and then I hear a song and I get this light bulb like, oh, I could do that and then I can just jam it out. Uh, But even then it takes, you know, writing it takes at least an hour, sometimes more. Um, You know, you got to find the stuff, you got to record it and to rewrite it because you messed up a few parts that didn't that didn't fit and the worst is when like and this has happened to me a bunch is i love making them when i want to make them but when you don't want to make a parody song first of all you feel like an asshole because writing this stupid parody song that people will listen to once enjoy and then it'll just sit there and die and it's not like i i guess it's just it's not something you want to do every every single week because sometimes it's just boring and you don't you you, or you don't have time you have a busy week and yada 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 anyway what i'm trying to say is that hosting a podcast is hard and it's a little too hard for me and i'm taking a break and nate's gonna do great and you guys keep listening to him or i will find you and trip you by stepping on your shoelace (laughs) (laughs) that being said i have all of the songs as mp3s we'll put out a we'll put out a free album you can check out our soundcloud (laughs) (laughs) no but uh i've i've got them all i'll i'll compile them all and we can release them if anybody wants to listen to them but so we'll we'll see. I've got some things in the works, but I can't I can't make any promises about every week. But the show but I will we'll the show will continue. In a while. So are you looking for another co-host or are you offering? Oh be- no! no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Be- because if you are, <clears throat> uh, uh, the answer is I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I've had a few people reach out that I very much appreciate. Um, I'm just not quite sure what, what you want the right person, right? That you're going to flow with and make sense. Yeah. And I, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think, I think if nothing else, um, I, I mean, I love having kind of two hosts on the show so that it doesn't force me to, um, be on like all of the time or if i run out of things to say it's nice having someone to be able to jump in so that i can you know breathe think of the next question take a drink of coffee whatever um or like if craig has to use the restroom mid-show that i can that there's that there's another host <laughs> to keep things going right <laughs> yeah. um <laughs> I, like, i guess but uh so i think that i will have some some guest hosts on uh, for sure, as far as permanent goes, um, no, no promises, but we'll see. We'll see if yeah. if the right person comes on and 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 it goes great, then you know, I'm totally open to it. But regardless, like the show will continue. 
Um, at least, at least now, if I have to go to the bathroom halfway through the show, you guys won't even know. <laughs> I am gonna miss Hammy. <laughs> yeah, the cat. And yeah. cat, let me get. She has not moved this entire time. He, he um, has. Not moved. Oh, you're gonna wake him up? Oh, poor Hammy. He's got little socks. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> he looks so tired. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Put me back down. <laughs> I kind of loves being carried around. Oh, for real? Mine, mine do not. I mean, they'll they'll put oh, up with it. it. But I didn't show butt crack on the. <laughs> maybe get, a maybe a tiny get, bit. You might get booted off Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> Your last podcast in this. <laughs> <laughs> we just get banned. We just get Twitch banned. <laughs> just come down with me. <laughs> this was all planned. Um, that was hammer strength. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, Taylor, thanks for coming on. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for coming on. Uh, I yeah, really appreciate it. It's good to talk to you, and it's been yeah, it's good to catch up. I haven't podcast it feels like you know in a while now and i'm usually nervous when i do podcasts but i was like pretty excited to come on to this one uh just because i've been friends with y'all for so long now yeah open invite anytime anytime you want to come back Uh, i feel comfortable with y'all and it was cool to be here for craig's last episode uh, i agree i I agree very very fitting i was telling nostalgic oh yeah I agree. I was telling Jeff, uh, I know, I know he mostly plays standard, but some wild too. And I see him, he's always way better legend rank than I am for sure. Um, yeah. in wild. And I know he's, but, but anyways, uh, I know he's, he's retired, uh, somewhat from podcasting, but if he ever wants to come on open invite as well. Yeah, for sure. So. Sounds good. I love All right. That. So, uh, Oh, so we can do our plugs there before we go and like taylor where can uh where can people find you if they want to follow you and whatnot um i'm on twitter mostly mainly yep just twitter um dr evil spelled d-r-e-v-e-l underscore h-s so shoot me a follow i post meme decks we'll all have a good time nice (laughs) and then you can follow me Craig of Canada, that's C-R-A-I-G of Canada. If you can't spell Canada, you can't follow me. <laughs> hey, Wolf, where can they follow you? But way more importantly, the show. <laughs> All right. You can follow me on Twitter at NateWolfTCG. It's N-A-T-E-W-O-L-F-E-T-C-G. Uh, as far as the show goes, um, still working on the website. I put in some more time over this past week, but it's not quite ready to go live yet. Um, but the show is pretty much everywhere. We're on Twitter at born to be wild HS. You can email the show at born to be wild HS at gmail.com. You can find all of our stuff on YouTube at youtube.com slash born to be wild podcast. Uh, and then if you, if you look us up on the Twitter, uh, our pin tweet has all of our, um, all the places where you can find us. We've got a discord. That's pretty fun. It's it's not as good as burnt, but but we have a good time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, we've got a Patreon if you're so inclined to to donate to the show. It helps pay for uh, well, like the website fees and stuff like that. But um, did we shut them out today? Holy crap! No, we did. No. <laughs> hey, by the way, Shokun, and thank you. <laughs> thank you for keeping the lights on, buddy. Um, as Our executive the, uh, producer Shokunin. Yes. Uh Shokunin is the executive producer of our show and and has supported us um financially and we really appreciate appreciate the help and emotionally from time to time. He's always good to bounce ideas and stuff off of as well. And so um and he's he's been a, a great guy and very supportive and he's uh sponsored some of the giveaways that we've done in the past and that's been great as well. 
So thank you, Shokunin. Yeah, thank you. And then just one one final plug. Um, again, we'll do a giveaway of the um, Demon Hunter bundle next week live on the show. If the only way that you guys can enter is to DM us okay. on Twitter, email us, or or send us a message in the Discord, um, and I'll add you to the list. We'll do a drawing live on next week's show. And the feed pics. <laughs> Thank you, Taylor. I'm sorry. That was the last time. <laughs> We're done. Oh, <laughs> uh, hey, here I'll give you. I'll give you guys a, a freebie. There you go. Uh. Ew. I think I can get us banned. <laughs> the hairier your toes, the more entries you get. <laughs> oh no. Gross. This is a gross show. <laughs> Um, I think uh, wiser words have never been spoken. <laughs> You've heard that on Born to be Wild. <laughs>